Alright, hey y'all, what is up, and welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 4 Seasons Let's Play. So, we're back with the Salazar Cahill family, and Claire is greeting us with a, What the hell you think you're doing showing up on my front door? Look. <laughs> Her face, I'm telling you. But anyway, she actually just got home from work and she got a promotion. So she was promoted to seed scatterer. Claire has been promoted to seed scatterer. She will now make an additional $2 per hour. Well, that's that's a big improvement <laughs> for a grand total of 23 per hour. She has also received the following bonus, $400 starter flowers and garden planter box. Her next shift is Sunday at 7 a.m. Alrighty, so we also have Bella here who has been doing her little mating call all day long. And honestly, Carter was off work today, so I tried to take him to the park with Bella and have her, you know, do some mating. And it, it wasn't working for me. I don't know. I, I couldn't figure it out. There was a dog there and there was no option. They're friends. There was no option to encourage them to mate with each other, which was kind of annoying, but you know... Um, but let's see, we need to come over here and, oh, I mean, well, what do we need to do for our, our next promotion? Harvest harvestables. Okay, I guess we can harvest all of these, have her do her little garden stuff, get that out of the way. And what I want to do today, in the last part, we spent a little time with Carter and we introduced y'all to Sophia and Dalton which was his girlfriend and her little son they celebrated love day with each other and today I think we're gonna hang out with Wyatt um, ever since he woke up this morning his friend Stevie has been calling him wanting to hang out with him so I think that's what we're gonna do today um, I believe she doesn't get off work until later in the evening um, so I guess we're just gonna hang out around the house with him for a little bit but yeah I want to introduce y'all to Stevie and I don't know, I just kind of want to get y'all's feel for what do you think the chemistry between them is like. Like, do y'all feel it or not? Because I think Stevie is a really cool sim. Um, but I don't know, there's also just something that's just not clicking there. What the hell is he doing? What, what is that? What, what is he doing? Oh, he's spraying like the pesticides. But what was that? It looked like he was leaf blowing them. That was weird. I've never seen that before. <laughs> well, look at him. He's helping out. That's really sweet. But anyways, I guess we need to come over here and keep applying this stupid mite treatment. Does anybody know how to prevent mites in these little bees? Because I haven't figured it out yet. And also, maybe in the next part, maybe later in this part, I don't know, it just depends how time goes, I do want to take Clara out. Sophia has, you know, been talking to her like, hey, you know, we need to do something for you since, you know, you're newly single and everything. I think it'd be fun for us to bond a little bit and hang out and, you know, we can, we can go out and see if we can, you know, possibly find any potential suitors for you. So we may have to do that later, maybe in the next part. We'll see, but I don't know why he's looking so pissed off. He's just got that brooding look on his face, which is just beautiful to me. And I guess we probably better watch her. I don't know if your dogs can, you know, autonomously woohoo <laughs> or mate, but I really do want puppies, so I don't know. Maybe we'll adopt another dog. I don't really know if I want them that bad because this isn't a cats and dogs LP. I know, I know. But anyways, I think what I want to do is um I don't know where, where do we want to go with Stevie maybe we should oh look at them let's just see if she's off work and maybe go get something to eat I'm not really sure that's I don't know if I really want to deal with a restaurant at the moment honestly but you know what else is there to do all right y'all so this is Miss Stevie and we decided to come to this little cafe slash pub i have not been to it yet but i thought it sounded really cool because it's a cafe over here and then a little bar pub area which is perfect uh, i think we're definitely going to hit up the pub area <laughs> we can probably order some lunch here because yeah i know he's a little bit hungry so let's get some fish and chips but he's just giving stevie an embrace so like i said stevie here they do have like a romantic interest in each other she has made it completely obvious that she is attracted to Wyatt I mean who wouldn't be but they've known each other since college and they work with each other now and he's flirted with her a little bit and he is a bit of a loner and keeps to himself so she's really the only girl 
in his life, I guess you would say. Um, besides Clara, now Claire is in his life. Mm, he also is a pretty good friend to Sophia since she is dating his best friend. But I don't know. I think he needs to get out a little bit more too because he isn't from Brindleton Bay. Remember, he is from the city and he moved here with Wyatt, not Wyatt, with Carter. So he needs to get to know these Sims too and get out a little bit more just like Clara. But yeah eat fish and chips and play card game okay well I guess they're gonna play cards and he's eating cards that is so weird looking <laughs> but anyways I'm just gonna have these two bond a little bit um, and have him eat but let's see I know she's single but let's just go ahead and ask her if she's single and she's probably thinking really you really ask me that and he needs to be careful because she likes him so much that I think he could potentially lead her on. Unintentionally. But he does like her. He really does. He finds her very attractive. She's his type. They have a lot of similar interests. So, I mean, no, 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 no. You're not goodbye my butt. Like, no, no, no. No. Where, where do you think you're going? Why do my sins always ditch me? They always ditch me. But you know what? We're going to reset you, and you're not going anywhere. We're going to add you back to a group. Okay, no, we're still in the group. Okay, I, we're not done, okay? I want to come over here and get flirty with you, okay? Have a few drinks and have a good time. You've been blowing my phone up all day. So, you're not going anywhere. See, I think Wyatt, he's he's a loner. Um, and as good looking as he is, he hasn't had a lot of relationships. He's kind of deep down like a hopeless romantic. He wants his first love to really be his only love. Um, he was raised that way in that kind of household, seeing like a loving mom and dad. And that's just something that he's always valued and always wanted. Um, so, she just disappeared. <laughs> I'm thinking that one's a, a lost cause, my brother. So, <laughs> you know what? Let's just go ahead. Is he ordering a drink? Yeah, let's just go ahead and order a drink. And we're just going to sit here and uh, kind of contemplate on our life a little bit. <laughs> but maybe we'll have, since freaking Stevie has been ditching us we'll have Wyatt go out with Sophia. We'll take Sophia, Carter, everybody out tonight and just have a good time. We'll just, we'll go to a club, we'll dance, and we'll see if Claire will meet anybody. We'll see maybe Wyatt can meet somebody. I don't know, but, you know, I'm kind of disappointed <laughs> that we just got ditched, even though, you know, she's been blowing her phone up all freaking morning, y'all. I'm not even kidding. And then she's going to ditch us. It's not cool. But anyways, like I was saying, you know, and being around Carter, his best friend, who is so happy in a relationship and is planning on proposing. And, you know, he's gotten close with Dalton, too, and he wants a family. He really does that, you know, maybe he would pursue that interest he does have in Stevie, possibly. Um, not just because he's so ready for it, just because it's there. And it's, he's not really sure. He's part of him's like, you know, when you know, you know. But then another part's like, well, you'll never know if you don't try, you know. And, you know, even Carter's told him, you know, it won't hurt to try to see, you know, where things go. You know, y'all are good friends. Hopefully, you know, it wouldn't ruin a friendship. And I think that's what worries him the most is that it could potentially ruin the friendship that he has with Stevie. But anyways, guys, I'm going to let him use the restroom real quick. And then I'm going to have everybody meet up at a nightclub somewhere and hopefully have a good time. Have a little better luck than we've been having so far. All right, y'all. So we are in the city at this little rooftop club here. Carter and Wyatt used to hit this place up all the time. Figured it was the perfect place to bring Claire to meet some new people. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we meet some new people. We ended up inviting Stevie, even though she was a little snatched and ditched us last time we tried to hang out with her. It's okay. We'll let it slide here. But, oh, hello. Everybody's looking rather Smexy, if you ask me, they're looking real good. But then Clara, she looks so innocent in her little flower dress. But that's just Clara. And, you know, I wouldn't change it for the world, you know. She didn't want to look sexy. She just doesn't feel like she's sexy, you know. That's just how she feels. But Lee Pascal, Pasquale, I don't know how to say it, this name. He's possibly married. Probably. That's my luck. But you know what? She's already had a few drinks. She's going to go and introduce herself to him, you know. 
why not? And let's see who else rolls in. And then let's have Wyatt come over here. And looks like he's already coming to talk to Stevie. And they're like matching unintentionally. I didn't plan that, but they look really cute. And Sophia looks absolutely stunning as always. I love that CC hair. I just downloaded it recently. So if you like her hair, which I love it, it is one of the most recent reblogs on my CC Tumblr, so be sure to check that out. But looks like uh, Lee's coming over here, and she's just giving him a friendly introduction. The good thing about it is, while she doesn't feel very sexy, she is a very confident. Um, she's very outgoing in that sense. But anyways, let's go ahead and cut to the chase. Let's ask him if he's single. Um, just, you know, oh, he might, he might be interested in Carter, actually. Um, but let's just ask him you know, if he's single and, you know, just kind of find out a little bit about him. Yeah, I don't know. He might be a little interested in Carter. <laughs> ah, did we ask him? I want to know. Ask if single. Ah, uh, okay. She has learned that Lee is married to Mara, so he's out of bar without his wife. That's just a red flag to me. But look at, look at here. Look at who it is. Bradley McNeil. It's single side at the bar. Let's go out and meet someone new. <laughs> Hold up. I know her ex-boyfriend is not calling her. First off, he broke up with her and he's calling her, oh, it's single night. Let's go meet someone new together. Let's make it a double date. Let's just, I mean, no, what the, what the actual hell? We're going to have to pass on that one, but, but thank you. Okay. So she's talking to Carter like, okay, this is absolutely not working out for me. Like, what do you mean this place is popping? This place is far from popping. <laughs> but anyways, I think we need to come over here and have them dance together. Um, who is this? Drew Burrell? Oh, he's a little bit older. Darn. I don't know. I just don't see anybody here that really looks like her type. Everybody looks a little bit older than her. Um, oh, this is not going. This is not going good for her, but... Nonetheless, whether she meets somebody new or not, that wasn't really her intentions is to meet somebody new. That's just Sophia pumping it into her head that she needs to find somebody. Oh, maybe she did find somebody. <laughs> Hello? I'm just kidding. But anyways, uh, she just wanted to come out with her friends and have a good time. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. But anyways, like I said, I do want them to finish drinking their drink and then go over there and dance a little bit party's just getting started hopefully we have some new people come in and then I want Wyatt to come over here and you know remember what we talked about earlier he's just gonna try to see if anything's there he's getting some liquid courage down he's he has his bro you know talking him up encouraging him yeah just go for it just just see and he's oh you're looking very good my dear and she's like oh okay yeah she's that we know already that she's definitely into it all the way we know that and now we have the opportunity to give her their first kiss should he just go for it i don't know let's just kind of like sweet talk her first i don't think he's the type that would really just go for it 100 percent right away um it looks like he's going to dance with clara because is she over here by herself? No, okay, Sophia has come over here, and she's feeling super flirty, but what about y'all? He's kind of talking her up, and he's like, you know, uh, what about Wyatt? And she's like, well, come on, Carter, you know that I've definitely always had feelings for him, but I just, I don't know how to read him, and he's like, well, I think y'all should just give it a shot, you know? <laughs> he's stirring the pot, you know, but best interest for his friend, and I don't know. Part of me, I don't want to see him hurt. I really don't, because I feel like he's a softy deep down, and th these two, <laughs> oh, he's like, let me show you how to do it, girl. <laughs> She's like, uh, no, I don't think that's how you do it. <laughs> uh, teach me how to Dougie, te te teach me how to Dougie, all right? <laughs> okay, so anyways, where did she go? Okay, I see you. <laughs> Who's this? Mag, mag, mag. Mc <laughs> Did y'all hear that? That I was stuttering so hard right there. Miguel Mar Mara. Who is this? Anton Therian. Okay. Oh, okay. Hey, he just comes over here. Let's compliment his outfit. I like that hat. He's just coming over here, like straight up to her and talking to her. I'm digging it. I really am. I'm feeling it. And he's like, all right, yeah, I see you. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's, oh, wrong person. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe not you, Wyatt. Maybe, maybe not. Let's have her just flatter him a little bit. And then where did Stevie go? I still want them. 
oh my god she's over here having a nap looks like she's had way too many drinks but let's come over here and wake her up and make sure she's okay he's noticed that she has disappeared and what's he doing i guess he's gonna come over here and watch tv y'all are so not fun y'all are not fun at all y'all reach that age in y'all's life where it's just it's not even fun anymore going out but anyways whatever we're gonna have him wake her up he's super tired himself we're just we're gonna cheat that a little bit okay and maybe like sit here with her can we do that can we sit by her and maybe like snuggle okay no don't leave no don't leave don't leave please don't leave she's leaving oh how is he ever gonna like try to get anywhere with her if she keeps leaving he's sitting there contemplating his life like okay now what okay it looks like um Anton has Anton, 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 I think it's Anton, Antoine, Ant I don't know. Somebody help me in the comments down below. How do you say his name? But anyways, let's come over here and ask him about his love life. You know, why not? Let's just be completely inappropriate and really forward and just, you know, ask, ask him about his love life. You know, you got any special women in your life? My luck, he's probably married. Let's go ahead and just ask him and if he's single. You know, he did come up to us, so... You know, she's not really putting the moves on him. He did that himself. I'm seeing someone. Okay, but you're not married. She, she's like, okay, I can work with that. I can work with that. You're not married? I can work with it. I really can. <laughs> All right, but we're... Oh, God, everybody's so sleepy. Okay, no, 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 no. Did Sophia leave? I hope she didn't leave. I bet she left. Did Sophia leave? I think she did. Okay, wow. I was going to have him get cozy with her, but it looks like everybody's just pooped. She had to get home to Dalton, which is understandable. So, he's going to come over here and, you know, just holler at Claire and Wyatt and let them know he's going to go ahead and head on home, um, but to enjoy themselves. So, let's have Wyatt. What is he doing? Oh, I thought he was DJing, but he's across the room. He's, he's kind of watching Claire do her thing, and, you know, they have bonded a little bit more, um, just because, you know, they have breakfast with each other every morning, it seems like. They, they sit down right by each other every morning. It's like a ritual, and you know, he, re he really does like her. Um, I don't think he likes her in, in that way yet, but, you know, I think he's going to go over here and just express his admiration for her and just, you know, let her know, hey, you know, you don't have to listen to Sophia. You know, I know you just got out of a relationship, and you don't have to rush into anything you know you're a great girl beautiful girl and you know you are my best friend's little sister so i feel like you know i need uh i need to look out for you and you know care for you but you know you need to you need to don't just go for anybody you know the right one will come along and she's like well you're, you're the one to talk i mean why are you still single you know what about stevie and he's like oh well i'm, I'm trying I, I guess i can see where it goes but I mean, we're just such good friends. I don't want to ruin it. And she's like, well, I think, you know, you're a great guy. And she really likes you. And, you know, maybe you just kind of see if there's a spark there. And if not, then just leave it at friends. You know, if y'all are such good friends, I don't think that it would ruin anything. But it could potentially be something great. And he's like, yeah, well, you know, I'm glad that we both made the decision to move to Brindleton Bay and, you know, in with Carter. I think this is going to be, you know, good for both of us. Uh, yeah me too but anyways it's two o'clock in the morning so i think they have mutually agreed that it is time to call it a night and go on home they have partied partied until they can't party no more all right so it is the next morning and claire is down here having her some leftover spinach frittata and i think yeah wyatt is still asleep <laughs> He got a little bit wasted last night, so I think he's a little bit hungover. Um, Carter's up, and he's giving Bella a bath. He's a little bit stinky, and I think he has the day off today. I know Claire is about to head out to work. Uh, she does work on the weekends, so she's about to go to work. And I think we're probably going to have Sophia and Dalton come over. Hopefully, it doesn't rain all day because... Dalton has been wanting to come over to Carter's house. He's been telling his mom, I want to go to Carter's. And he wants to slide on his new slide because he knew that Carter had bought him a slide. But his mama told him, you know, we're going to leave the slide over there at Carter's, you know, when we go visit him. You know, mama and grandma and grandpa is going to get you, you know, a playground set for the house. 
And so he's been excited to freaking play on his little slide. So I'm hoping it doesn't rain all day. But even if it does, you know what, that's okay. We're going to invite him over anyways. Oh, and it's actually the first day of summer. I just realized that. So um, I love how he's still wearing his clothes from <laughs> last night. But he's a little bit hungry. So I'm going to go ahead and have him just eat some breakfast real quick and then you know let Wyatt catch up on his sleep and then I'm gonna have Sophia come over for a hot minute and then we're gonna go ahead and wrap this part up with that I don't want this to drag on and oh my god my game is glitching out what toddlers can carry umbrellas <laughs> somebody told me this is not the cutest thing you have ever seen in your life somebody come help this little kid oh my god he's struggling <laughs> he's like mom Oh my god, okay. Can we pick him up? Yes, come on, let's pick him up and bring him inside. He loves this little boy so much, and look at her. She's like daddy material, yes. <laughs> she just is really happy that she gave Carter a chance, um, because she has been so standoffish, you know, and picky with relationships because of her son, and he's done so well just being a good, you know, father figure, and just always being there for Dalton and her, and... Uh, I don't know. I see a long, happy future with these two. I really, really do. So I'm going to have him come over here, give her a little smooch. Um, I was like, our toilet's a little messed up here. We need to fix that. Probably just replace it. It's probably the easiest option, right? Like, let's just go ahead and replace it. And Wyatt is still asleep. It's still quite early in the morning, but oh my God, he's thinking about a proposing to her. Oh, it is definitely in the future I see that happening it's still raining I really want them to play outside on the slide but I'm not going out in the thunderstorm because it's uh it's coming down pretty hard today but anyways let me go ahead and check this calendar out before we wrap this part up we don't have anything planned for summertime but I do want to create a holiday for the summer so if anybody has any suggestions any ideas drop them down below because um I'm I'm going to think about them, but I'm not very good at coming up with my own holiday. So, if, you know, if y'all have anything that y'all have seen in, like, other people's Let's Plays or something that y'all do, you know, in your current households for summertime, let me know so I can plan that. I want them to celebrate something in the summertime. Um, but, yeah, looks like it's going to storm pretty much all day today. Lovely. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave all your comment suggestions, everything like that, in the comments down below. Subscribe if you have not. And I will talk to y'all later.